Hello everybody, this is uh, Dr. Perdine. I'm just here to make a quick video uh, to show you how to uh, scan uh, paper, um, you know, paper um, documents uh, to make a PDF and then to upload those PDFs to an assignment folder in D2L. Uh, the uh, go-to uh, app for this, uh, in my opinion, is Cam Scanner. It's a free third-party app uh, available in uh, the Google Play Store or the um, Apple Store um, on iOS. Uh, you can also make um, PDFs using your Google Drive um, app um, and scan files there. I just find that the Cam Scanner uh, usually fi uh, scans uh, files a lot more cleanly uh, than the Google Drive. So that's what I'm going to show you here today. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to click the Cam Scanner uh, app that I've already downloaded from uh, the Google Play Store and um, after you give uh, you know the um, app some permissions uh, you'll pretty much come to this uh, front loading page which shows you uh, the files that you've previously scanned uh, to create a new file all we're going to do is click the uh, camera icon in the bottom right corner and it will pull up my camera uh, to uh, begin to scan pages so what you want to do is just, uh, you know, position your camera so that it uh, pretty much, uh, you know, covers uh, or the camera covers, the page covers the, the entire view of the camera, rather. And then you click the um, green uh, camera icon when you're ready. Okay, so here's the first page of our report. I'm just going to click the camera button. And you can see it identified where the uh, page was um, with the uh, dots. And if it didn't do quite a good job, you can move those uh, dots around to um, locate where the paper is. Um, but in my opinion and in my you know, um, usage, it, I found that uh, it does a pretty good job of locating the page all by itself. Okay, and then I'm going to click Next. And here you can give a couple of filters. Uh, if it didn't, um, if the lighting isn't right or something, and it didn't take a really good scan of the page, you can use some filters um, such as magic color to kind of emphasize the um, writing as opposed to, you know, everything else. But if it's uh, good enough, you can just click uh, the original and use that. Um, once I'm happy with my scan, I'm going to click uh, save in the bottom right and it will show you me my first uh, scan page. If I have more than one page, all I'm going to do is click the or uh, tap the next page, that tap the camera icon to add new pages, and it will pull up the camera again for me to scan my next page. I'll do the same, kind of put it in as much of the screen as possible, and then click the green camera icon. All right, and I'm, if I'm happy where it selected the page to be, I'm just going to click Next. If I'm happy with the uh, how it looks and I don't need to apply a filter, I'm going to click Save and uh, kind of repeat that process for however many uh, pages that you have. Once you're all done, you can uh, rename the file by clicking the three dot array in the top right. I'm going to rename it just so I can keep track of things. I'm going to say this is my experiment one report and say okay so that's my new name now to uh, save it as a PDF I'm going to click that PDF icon right next to the name and then I um, it's got some uh, watermarks at the bottom those are fine uh, if you want to remove the watermark um, I think there's like a subscription based model for you to remove that kind of stuff but that's fine with me and uh, you know most professors if it has a watermark and then we're going to click share and uh, this is going to basically tell you where you know tell the you know the app where to send this file uh, you can email it to yourself you can text it to yourself if you like um, if you want to work on this uh, file on a computer you might want to email it to yourself you know using gmail or outlook um, if you want to use your phone to upload this file, we're just going to click um, uh, Save to Drive. Save to my Google Drive. Um, there's the name. It's good. Click Save. And then to upload it to D12, I'm just going to go to D12. I've already logged in on Chrome. 
I'm going to scroll through, find the course that I want to upload this document to. Here's my 1045 lab course. And uh, to find the assessments in the assignments folder, I'm going to click this three line array in the top left. Click assessments and then assignments. And there you should be able to see all of your assignment folders. Just need to find the appropriate assignment folder for you to upload your document and click that. Then you're going to want to add a file and then click upload. I'm going to go to files and there's my scans. All right, so I'm just going to click any one of those that I renamed experiment one. And of course, because I'm an instructor, I can't upload uh, files to student folders. So I can't do that uh, when I'm uh, in student mode. But once you click upload and select your file, it should uh, upload within a couple of seconds. And then you just click add and then you can submit it. All right, so that's how you're going to add uh, or upload PDF files of experiment reports and pre-labs uh, that you created using the Cam Scanner app on your phone. All right, thanks.